So just a quick, maybe single sentence or two um, description of what the different aspects and objectives of the roadmap uh, mean past what their description is on the website or wherever else we have posted it. So I'll ask that Ed walks us through that real quick. Remember, just a quick description um, and anything else Ed might feel like going into. And then once he feels finished explaining it to the extent that he sees fit, then we can start bringing people up to speak. Ed, whenever you're ready, uh, I would say just start at the first incomplete item on the roadmap and we can just work our way through it from there. All right. Thanks, Ben. Okay, so our roadmap is available on our website if you want to go pull that up. I'll just walk through each of the items very quickly. The first item in uh, Q4 2022 was disable the market swap. We did some work on that. If you look at Agora forums, we had actually proposed to disable market swap because of the fact that we saw that um, uh, the Oracle pricing giving us uh, a wrong feed uh, resulting in someone able to mint, I think it was like one, one million UST or so something along those lines. Uh, there, at the moment, um, there's a couple ways that we can move forward with that that market swap. We could just go ahead and dis and um, do another governance proposal to change the Tobin tax to 100%. Uh, there was some questions specifically by uh, AE about like what are the implications of doing that. Um, at the moment, we're we're fairly confident that um, that uh, it, it's an urgent thing to disable this, but we do want to look at it a little bit more. I mean, this could be done very quickly. Anyway, that's one sentence, right? So, okay, so then we're looking at uh, reworking the underlying Cosmos Tendermint skeleton and upgrading vanilla Cosmos 45.8 and then upgrade uh, Tendermint uh, v34. Okay, so these items, um, in fact, if you look at um, what Jacob Gadigan has done for from Osmosis, uh, Notional and Osmosis, they upgraded to 45.9, and that is in our repo at the moment. Uh, Tobias uh, Zardar has been working on the Tendermint upgrade to version 37. There's some tricky things with uh with that in terms of um it's not it's a it's a modified tendermint that tfl used before and we can't just upgrade to the tendermint 37 without doing those modifications that tfl already did so tobias has, has been looking at that there's some some changes that happened in tendermint that he's got to uh to work around but that's where we are with that um and then after that, the Cosmwasm 1.0 can can go into place. Okay, so then we have the assess the burn tax, which we had in Q4. Uh, as you know, there was a community member, uh, Akajuro, that proposed to change the tax to uh, 0.2. And so that sort of um, jumped up <laughs> very quickly. So we, you know, we, we had to make a decision on what you know, basically what to say about that. And I I think a lot of people saw the article that I wrote and I said, you know, I'm not convinced either way, but, you know, if, if we got to do something, sure, let's go ahead and do it now. That's sort of the general gist. And then, so that's why it, uh, it seems like um, that happened. Okay, and then we have begin work on V2 algorithm and the algorithmic fungible token. Now there's been a lot of work on you know different proposals about the aft uh those are only proposals right we're still discussing that nothing is finalized um so so yeah so that's that's sort of the start of that okay so q1 uh testing and validation of the upgrade uh so good thing we, we were also in discussions with scv which is an auditing firm and they uh they have agreed to audit whatever changes that Jacob makes. So that's nice. And then upgrade parity with uh, V2. That's in Q1. Um, that would happen with the Cosmwasm upgrade. Uh, oh, and then we have repegging the AFT sometime in 2023. I think that is that is a big deal. That's going to take a lot of time. It's going to take a lot of testing. So um, yeah, that might be Q2 
Q1, Q2, I don't know, Q2 maybe. Um, deploy the APS, I think that's supposed to be ABS, uh, from what I think Zardar is talking about. Um, just sort of these um, these automatic breaker systems in in the uh, in the market swap to make sure that you know something like the death spiral can't happen again. Establish new cal uh, capital controls um, again, sort of you know a tranche system. Partially collateralize collateralize the AFT, and then re ultimately re enable the market swap. So this was sort of the this is the big, the big item. Once you re-enable the market swap, then you can collect swap taxes. Then you can start to, um, you know, you can do arbitrage on the on the AFT. So this, so that's sort of the, the culmination of, of what we see in the next year, year and a half. So that I guess that's a high level overview of the roadmap. Well, thank you for that, Ed. Um, do you feel that there's anything in particular, maybe closer to the beginning of the list, that you feel you would like to go into a little deeper for our listeners here? Um, um, I can I can tell you some of the issues that we're running into if that that would help. So we're we're looking at upgrading to Cosmos forty. So here in the roadmap it says forty five point. Eight, but we're actually going to try to go to 46 um, at least um, either 45.9 or 46 would, would actually bring us into a, a more advanced stage than than Luna V2 which is okay we can we can uh, sort of outpace them in that aspect um, in the tendermint again so we ha we have to rework the base code of Tendermint, which if you're not familiar, that's sort of the, the consensus system underlying the Cosmos um, blockchain technology. The issue there was that there's an Oracle. Uh, the Oracle, again, is what gives the, the, the prices to the blockchain. So it fetches the prices and then, and then sends them as blocks. The problem here is that Tendermint change from like this, this um, uh, priority system for the for the blocks, and so now you can sort of assign different priorities to blocks. And what we really need to do is have the Oracle feeder transactions always be the the highest priority, right? Because we want to make sure we have accurate pricing uh, coming. And and if like other transactions come come in with higher priority, then the Oracle may not get get processed and then you'll have outdated prices right on the on the blockchain so for the market swap so what we really need to make sure is that the um the oracle transactions are always always the highest priority and then we're running into some issues with the cosm wasm upgrade uh what we need to do is make a new genesis of the chain um because all of these these are big changes they're state breaking it just makes sense to make an, a new clean genesis. Nothing changed. So it's not like a fork or anything. It's just like we're just cleaning up the past and starting fresh at the exact same state. So that's a new genesis. Everything sort of stays the same. You won't tell, you can't tell any difference. But we do need to. Um, so all of the old WASM is on like 0 0.16 or something. And there is a way to upgrade them to version one. There's just some weird things happening when we try to make that upgrade. But we just need to track down which one of these, you know, which one of the byte codes is is causing a problem, and then maybe try to to find a workaround or from that. So, uh, yeah. So there's some details. Awesome. Thank you so much, Ed. Um, so unless there's Anything else specific that you feel you would like to delve into a little bit more? This is an AMA, so I guess we can just go directly to questions. Um, I do ask that anyone that is brought on stage, please have your questions ready and keep them in the scope of the roadmap. That's why we're here. Uh, I know Ed has had a rather busy weekend, so let's not take up too much of his time. Um, so if you're ready for that, Ed, and Zoro's also joined us on stage. Zoro is another member of the classic core team 
So if Ed would ever want to defer a message to him or Zoro is possible, is capable of answering it, then you're more than welcome to, Zoro. Um, so we'll just get going. I have three hands up right now, and we'll just start working through them. So once again, guys, if you're on desktop and even mobile, I believe, you should see a little hand icon if you have a question that allows you to raise your hand, and then I can bring you up on stage one by one. All right, Gucci Dash, uh, I just invited you on stage. If you're capable, nope, he disappeared. So Lunk808 will go to you. Readily identifiable. So um, I think I found one. Here's one. Um, before you actually click to buy the ticket, there is no TOS. Um, and why am I saying this? In some countries, for some people, it might be it might cause an issue. So I think TR should look into... Um, that so they don't get into a lawsuit for no reason and i'm just saying this um as a community member out of concern i'm not hating i'm i'm happy you guys built it and i wish you guys all the best that's it for me thank you yeah that's uh thank you so much those are great points uh to the first one and maybe someone can jump in for the second one but to the first one there is something called the finder um that that is supported to to look through the transactions now i've also been talking to MintScan. i believe they do most of the the cosmos um types of explorers and so possibly in the future we could have multiple multiple types of those those platforms in terms of the lottery uh i don't i don't know who, who i think who i can do? jump in on that one ed um so this has been raised and it was actually discussed before the fact and i'm sure it's really just a an overlook on the on Anne's part um so i have already messaged him and he should be coming out with an update that includes a terms of service or a type of disclaimer that informs individuals that they should always abide by their local laws uh when interacting with any type of decentralized applications uh, for anyone in the U.S., I can tell you through my own research, from what I believe, I do ask that you do your own research and ensure that what I'm saying is correct. But the United States does not uh, designate cryptocurrencies as currency and is therefore not gambling. And it is the same as playing poker with Oreo cookies. So I do invite everyone to always do their own research and make sure you're abiding by your local laws. and what you refer to should be out soonish with the next update for the data. Something what is our actually main focus now. Uh, I mentioned it a few times already on a different channels, but we are working as a team on making, let's call it a community window to Terra Classic blockchain, where we will start collecting all educational materials, guides, and everything what can be used by com uh, community. Excuse me, I have uh, a question now since you added this. Um, and it's uh, regarding the lottery again. Um, in the technical session, it mentions um, that for this kind of application, it is not safe to use some kind of pseudo randomness obtained by blockchain. Now, I mean, how is Chainlink's VRF not suitable for this? That's that's what I'm wondering, if that's a valid question. Um, I believe that's something you would have to ask the developer of the DAP for that. He's not here with us right now, so I would for that question to him. He's usually rather available on the server whenever someone pings him. Um, he is in European time zone, just as a heads up if you do. Uh, ask that about him. I can tell you what he told to me when we had the same discussion. And he just, through his own testing, he found that an off-chain random, randomness function had more of a random, randomness feature to it, uh, as opposed to the on-chain function. So, but other than that, I couldn't really tell you personally, nor could uh, Ed or Zero, unless Ed just knows off the cuff why the answer to that may be, what the answer to that may be. Um, but... Zoro, you got something to say, buddy? Uh, yeah. I have actually a couple, uh, 
Sorry, I talked with Andre about this uh, earlier today, just before AMA, and his answer to this was exactly like this. Blockchain is not deterministic and has no reliable randomness. Yeah, that's why he I'm, wanted to use different source of randomness. Which I will say. I have that a question. The, Who is the, the closest... developer? <laughs> He's not here, I guess. Yeah, it's well, and front end. He's uh, Discord guy. Yeah, the, the thing I want to say is not here. The thing I wanted to say is that the the closer you are to real world, the best entropy you have. So um, using the blockchain is not is not better than getting your randomness, your entropy from, let's say, your computer, your own computer. Um, so that might be one one of the reasons why it's not the blockchain used for for the for the entropy for the lottery. All right, thank you for the answers. That's all for me. All right, thank you for joining us, Lunk808. Uh, I'm going to drop you down now and bring the next speaker on stage. Uh, Third Eye, J03, I'm inviting you to speak now. Please come join us on stage and um, ask your questions. Hello. Um, I just got a couple of different questions. Uh, my name is Lunkenstein for anyone who doesn't know. Um, I've got a question about the AFT that is going to be launched in 23. Um, in regards to what, which one it is, are we going to go with the USTN that was previously discussed, or is this going to be a new one? From my understanding, SEC is saying something about any new stable coins, which I don't think that that's considered to be stable um, from my understanding. Are going to be regulated that's one question um another one would be being able to make some form of i know that we have discord and twitter and stuff like that but it still seems to me that there's so much miscommunication um not only with what's going on but in regards to how to actually build on the platform uh the blockchain itself um, I usually just divert people to Terra.money and, uh, you know, down that route. But I'm still, in some forms, misunderstood in regards to are we staying or decoupling from TFL? Are we still going to be using that platform um, application, Terra Station itself? And uh, what about the buy and sell? option for on chain and that's pretty much all i have um i do want to say thank you all very much um i'm a nobody but thank you all very much um y'all probably inspired more people than you can imagine so uh, on behalf of all of us out here thank you very much and that's it yeah thank you thank you so much um i re really appreciate your comments so <clears throat> this this kind of goes outside of Terra Rebels, and and I'm and I'm going to ad address it, uh, putting on a different different hat because the, one of the reasons why I I propose to start this um, Terra Grants uh, Grants Foundation uh, activity was essentially the reasons that you just brought up, right? Because um, I think there are bigger questions, bigger directions that we as a commun community and blockchain have been asking and sort of need to push towards. And uh, one of them is independence from from TFL, right? We we are highly dependent upon um, some of the some of the the applications that interact with blockchain the blockchain itself we we have decoupled right we have uh, our own repo that we are now using as the canonical repo but you know as you said the wallet uh some of these other things that have passed governance how to onboard uh into into station wallet um and that sort of thing so and, and also the documentation so one of the one of the first things that i i would hope to do uh with the grants program is prioritization of independence. And so there's a couple things that that I think I want to try to incentivize if I can. One is a new station. Um, 
completely decoupled from uh, TFL's wallet. Uh, second is documentation. So we don't, we, we're not going to Terra Money, uh, just like you said. Um, third, I think it did pass governance. The uh, the to see what kind of you know we weren't we're basically bankrupt. So um, uh, hopefully they can cut us a break. But um, yeah, I'll see what what can be done there. And then of course everything that I'm saying, everything will needs to go through governance vote. Right? It's not like I'm not dishing out any money. It uh, it's just a matter of sort of trying to find directions that need to be fulfilled and then uh, asking the community to then raise up proposals to to address those issues and then um, and then people can start getting paid from the community pool for for their efforts and so that I hope that uh, that sort of manifests uh, itself in in you know positive ways to to help the blockchain and I think this goes sort of outside of TR's responsibility so that's sort of why I th think it needed to be made. Um, so I hope that that sort of answers your question. Absolutely. I do have a follow up though for you. Um, does the IBC comms need to be re enabled for the buy and sell to be available on chain? I'm sorry, what was that? The Oh, the IBC? Um, uh, I. I don't know what the mechanism behind. I think CoinIn did something like they they have some prototype. I have not been in part of those conversations. I don't know. They what kind they, of... they have already. They, yeah, they have already a, pro a prototype that is just prototype. waiting for for yeah for the and last need... uh, weeks. No, I can no. I can talk a little bit about this prototype because I'm the one who was in a conversation with them. So basically, uh, what CoinIn can offer is. Uh, how the system works. It's just an iframe you can put on whichever site you want. It can be on station, it can be on your private site. And it allows you to buy with a Visa card through different providers, specific cryptocurrencies. And what happens, the transaction happens on their uh, exchange, and then it you can choose, do you want it transferred directly to your wallet, or do you want to uh, open an account with CoinIn and keep it there? So it's it's a solution, but it's. I don't think that's exactly the solution people are asking for. I agree. All right, third eye, if that's all you got, sir, then I'm going to go ahead and drop you down now and request that the next person come on stage. <clears throat> Saeed, I, I believe. All right, thank you, third eye. Uh, Saeed, I believe that is would, would be how you pronounce it. Please join us on stage if you're still there. And then we'll work our way through Milk 89, Drunken Llama, and then your third PFC. You're on deck. Oh, hello, guys. Do you hear me? Yeah. We hear. Yeah. Thank you so much for holding this INA. I appreciate you, uh, your job and your work, guys. Uh, just so, because uh, myself and Bull BNB and some guys in the community, we was like uh, asking and talking, discussing about. Uh, uh, the possibility of building a de DEX on the blockchain. And uh, uh, that's the first thing. How much money it needed and how long in how long period. That's the first thing. The second thing, I would love it would like to see the the swap uh, mechanism uh, features return back to the to the blockchain. Uh, so we will end up like uh, having a lot of like uh, liquidity coming to this blockchain. That's my true thing. Thank you. Excited. I th so I've seen the, the conversations about a DEX, and I know that some other groups might be working on a DEX, but I, I'm i also somewhat confused about this question because we already have two DEXs, um, and they're, al they're also integrated into Terra Station Wall. We have Terra Terra Swap, and we have Astroport. Uh, if you try to swap between Lunk and and UST, it it auto sort of figures out which one gives you the best um, slippage or or spread, and then it chooses that one. So I guess the question is like, what for this dex is is there something more that you anticipate the dex to do? Is it is it because you want a dex owned by the community instead? 
he would love to like uh dix that it is owned by our blockchain and the uh, it can make like different swap, not just in between like uh, Luna Classic and USTC. Uh, we would uh, they like to do swap like with base, uh, B BTC, uh, Ethereum, and all that uh, kind of stuff. If you understand what I mean, like we want it to be like in a big level. I see. How much money it needed, brother? How much money it needed? And uh, uh, if you need like help, like other developers to get involved, uh, that's what I ask. I tried to, to ask Tobias and you last time in the IMA in Twitter. Yeah. So I was concerned about the two problems that we have, but I think you guys, you fix it. Thank you so much. Uh, uh, so yeah, that, that qu the question basically. Yeah. I, so I honestly have no idea. Um, I haven't looked into the DEX question. That's uh, sort of a level above. I mean, I'm looking at sort of the blockchain level type thing, and then the DEX goes on top, right? So I, I don't know. Maybe someone L2 here. Have you guys looked into it? In terms of 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 costs and stuff like that, yeah, for the community. Uh, that is that is something that 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 is not new. Uh, regarding the 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 DEXs, uh. We will really have to have something that is unique to to create something uh, something new for the chain because there's a lot of dexes already that utilize Lunk uh, that they uh, yeah you can uh, you can uh, they already have loads of pairs you know uh, regarding regarding um, regarding a uh, uh, layer one like uh, Ed say you know, we already have two uh, dexes there so I don't know it's going to be it's going to be um, is already DEXs that work with uh, Luna Classic. I don't know uh, what you mean that, like, uh, we, we, use, we used to. No, no, no. We need to have, like, one, one big one uh, to be integrated in the block. So it can, uh, it can, uh, like, uh, it's kind of really, it will be profited for everyone, for everyone, for you guys, for the, the community, for everyone. So, we, mm. yeah, and it will bring, like, a lot of, a lot of liquidity to the, the blockchain. If you understand what I mean, so I am well, talk, talking about like some futuristic like uh, vision for this blockchain. Because we what we want, we don't like we want like keep uh, like just scrolling in the ground. Well, our vision like to put this blockchain in top ten. That's yeah, but exactly for example, what I mean. the 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 to activate uh, Dex like the, like you are saying that is uh, between uh, Ethereum and stuff like that. I believe that we need the IBCs, yeah. Ed, more than IBCs, I think you need bridges because yeah, exactly, those yeah. assets cannot exist natively in the in the blockchain. First of all, second, well, I think you need a lot of money for that to, just to maintain that also, and it, I, there is no guarantee that the bridges will be secure because well, in the past year we we had a lot of hacks to bridges, IBC. It's the best bet that Atom has to offer, and if you don't have um, a level one Bitcoin in in say I in in an Atom uh, hub or something like that, I I think is almost impossible to achieve this. Uh, so it, it requires a lot of money, a lot of development that might be might take say five years or or more might take security uh cost of maintenance and yeah that's really um a big project i will say just yeah, to get it started what i'm talking about yeah that's what uh, i'm talking about his brother because when we talk uh, with you uh, i've been interested me and boo being b and some guys in the, the community and we would love to like uh, uh, get all together, and I mean all together as in the community and you guys as the, like developer team. If you need like some some other from outside, we can like provide that to you guys. And we uh, we took like this blockchain on top of our shoulder to put it forward. That's what I mean. And even mm -hmm. like that, because uh, I asked Duncan, I asked Duncan, what's the future thing project that you want to bring in this blockchain? And he, he talked with me about the like some sort of forex. That's a good idea as well. So yes, the utility it is good. Everything, the gaming it is good. The NFTs is good. All that patching it is good. Yeah, but we need something to bring more liquidity and bring more investors to this blockchain. We I need mean, like everyone to profit. 
We want uh, everyone, you yeah. to develop a lot like to... of new... Say, yes, I will I would like to just to finish the idea. No, it's it's not a bad idea, but I think it, it involves a lot of work. And I will say that the community needs to organize around this idea and start really, 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 really small. Um, I I I know what you mean when you when you say that this is the objective we want to achieve. But I I will say that the community needs to um plan around this idea and start really small let's say trying to bring bitcoin to the to the network as as a native asset or something like that through a bridge or something better than a bridge i would i would like to say that just to close yeah that's 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 uh, yeah one step at a time you know uh for example that being said um last month uh, i believe that was last month uh, uh was then the the, the first mu multi coin um tip uh thing on telegram and was with uh, with um, a small little coin that they, they they already have this in place so they just add luna classic there so their next step is to 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 do a swap mechanism uh, between their coin and our coin and uh, the next step will be to to open the first decks on uh, telegram um telegram social media and they are a privacy coin, whatever. But that being said, to to bring something to the chain is like Zoro is saying. It's like one step at a time. <laughs> it's a lot of things that need to be done slowly. Um, but yeah, that's a really good idea, guys. Yeah. All right. So yeah. I... Under um, the, the swap mechanism, when you guys you think it will be come back? Because yeah, we have our coins, we have our base coins, we have our Ethereum, we have a we have a lot of things in our bags, and we need. This like if we do like some swap uh, uh, thing, we need to do it in a in a in this uh, blockchain. So everyone will be like uh, will profit, and we will fill our community pool. We will fill our our oracle pool. We will have a um, a lot of liquidity for uh, for uh, you guys and for any like other uh, developer teams uh, to come in. So we don't need like to keep like talking about like all that money people. All right, Said. Um, we need to get paid. So... How do you get paid? So that's what I'm talking. Anyway, thank you guys. Hope like that uh, we we get like deeper in this idea and we develop it and we are here to help each other. Okay, okay. that's all I can say. Thank, thank you. you guys for holding this. I made. Thank you, Edward. Thank you, okay. thank you guys. Uh, so I'm gonna drop you down now, and then it looks yeah. like Milk actually left us. So Drunken Llama, you're next on the list. I'm going to be adding you to the stage now. Go ahead and drop Saeed down. Can you hear me okay? Yep. All right. Uh, so straight to the point then. So jumping to Q4 2023 with Doquan uh, funding the Terra Rebels, aren't you guys <laughs> concerned about Big Jack? Yeah. <laughs> yeah let, let me. Okay. Let me let me try to adjust it. He's he's not to be played with. Um. So first of all, I I haven't been involved in any of the negotiations. So I I only know bits and pieces. Probably a lot of people actually know more than what I know. But this is what I know. Uh, I know that DK is not a signer on this multi sig. Um, but who whoever the signers are, uh, you know they. They were from the old, you know, pre DPEG, right? So they are some of the old guard in Luna. Um, and, and it seems as though the, so, okay, they could have at any point, they could have swapped the, the money and sent it to the community pool, but they didn't, right? It's only, now, in the past week or two weeks, uh, I think Alex went digging and he found, I'm, I'm not sure if this was by accident or this was sort of a, hey, go digging um, and find these things. But it's only now that these assets have come up and there seems to be a condition. And that condition is focus on L1 development, meaning focus on the blockchain. And so um, all that to say is I think this is not charity 
I don't think this is charity money. This is not like, hey, we just found $4 million out of nowhere. Here you go. I think this is a, hey, we found $4 million, focus on fixing your blockchain for a reason. Um, th I mean, that's, that's sort of what I speculate, uh, and so sort of that's what I, what I know. So I, I do not think this is, um, I don't think this is charity, if, if that makes sense. You still with us, Drunken Llama? Yeah, I think it's just good to get it out there. You know, I tried to make it humorous, but the, the point is, I mean, people just don't trust Alex and every time we think he's gone there's this new development and we it just looks off so we appreciate any context you can give us yeah about tr okay so about trusting alex i think you're absolutely right when like he goes out on twitter like i cringe because i'm like what are you going to say next right um but when it comes to money like i trust alex 100% so when he came to me and said, hey, I found this money and this is what, you know, what the deal was and whatever, I'm like, all right, if, if you say this is what the deal is, I trust you. Now, when it comes to like presenting it, uh, that's a different story. So, um, yeah, I and mean, Alex knows that he, he comes off. In, yeah, in it's, just, it's different things. Yeah. So the, the dude is not uh, uh, bad intended. Um, regarding this, um, still, I believe that 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 uh, that funds can be, um, if they can uh, go directly to to the community pool and then uh, then be utilized on a layer one uh, development will be slightly better. But that is just a personal view, not even a, TR, a TR view. It's just a personal view. But that being uh, said, yeah, I re I believe that everyone wants the best for the chain. Yeah. All right. Well, if you don't have anything else for us, Drunken Llama, I'm going to go ahead and drop you, drop you down and bring PFC up to speak. Um, before I do do that, I do ask that everyone please try your hardest to keep it within the scope of the roadmap. Over the previously things, the previously spoke about things before, and just keep it within scope, guys. Let's stay on topic. PFC, I just invited you up on stage. Hey, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Yep. Sweet. Okay. Hey, guys. Long time uh, listener. First time. Call first time uh, caller. Um, so yeah, just about random numbers. There are two on-chain random number generators. Uh, there's one actually on Lunk today, um, and there is another one on Terra. The one on they're called VRFs. If you want to look what they are, and you shouldn't ever trust an off-chain random number generator. It's just bad, you know, it's just too easy to, to uh, circumvent. So the ones, um, I think it's called Entropic uh, Labs have one, and the other one is called Beacon, and I uh, forwarded the links to you, Ed, uh, so you can have a look at the links. They're, both of them are open source, and um, the second one, the Beacon one, uh, is actually the contract should be already be on Lunk uh, today. So that's all I came up to say, that you've already got a random number generator there, you should be using it, and I would never trust anything off-chain. It's just too easy to um, get the random number, you know, mucked up. So anyway, that's all I came to say. Thanks. Uh, yeah, I, I got the message. I'll pass it on to, who's that, Andre? Is that who wrote that? Um, it's Andre. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, if you need any clarification on how to use it, give me a buzz and uh, I can get in contact with who the devs are for both. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. All right. Well, thanks for that heads up, PFC. Um, Radir, you're, uh, you're next up on stage, so please join us up here and have your question ready. Hello, guys. Do you hear me? Yes. Yeah. It's an honor to speak with you. I have just uh, one point to mention about USTC or uh, to comes to the repack. I think uh, 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 NFTs, games, all other things, utility uh, for the our chain, it will not be a, a good value for the chain because Luna existed for uh, and it value come from USTC. And why should we not focus just 
on this thing to be more special and give more value to our chain than games or NFTs, uh, NFTs and, and other things. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you, mate. Uh, yeah, that's a, that's a really good point. Uh, regarding the, the USDC repack, that's uh, uh, like Ed was saying before, um, and uh, everyone is saying that is a, a very special point that we, that we have to, 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 to try to achieve. Yeah, but um, that being said, is, um, is a sensitive uh, point. And like Ed said before, is bigger than TR. is something that, that uh, you have to have different points of view you know it's like um, someone can have a better idea and um, or this idea or that so this being said is like uh, it's good to have ideas regarding the, the repack it's good to have different uh, viewpoints to to see what is the best one that the community will like to see and what is makes sense in mathematical uh, models to see uh, for feel you know um, all of that is is amazing but like i said before is uh, like step by step so for us to achieve that that point that we need to 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 repeg yeah we need to first fix the whole chain and uh, adds uh, uh yogba uh, zoro uh, zaradar all of these dudes they are doing an amazing job just trying to to do to do um to fix the whole chain um and give us time to to think to what we we need to do to the, to the repack itself uh, regarding the nfts the games and uh, all of these uh, second layer uh, apps um i don't share the same same view as you i believe they are very important and i believe that that uh, they are one step that we need to 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 maintain one thing that we need to maintain to the chain to to bring utility to the chain until we have until we have the, the the means to bring the main utility to the chain that in my view is the repack all right and vegas i guess i'll just add a little bit to that as well you know i guess it kind of pertains to the roadmap um i completely agree with the idea that you know we shouldn't be restricting the types of applications that are built on chain on the second layer it's it's up to the end user to show support towards certain applications or utilities as the user. And if the community as a whole decides that they don't want to support NFTs on chain, then through use, that is how they should show that. I don't think it's any type of core protocol, you know, question of if we restrict that type of, you know, contract or the minting tax and of NFTs on chain. It's really up to the end user. Um, so thanks for joining us up on stage, Radir. If you don't have anything else for us, then we're going to move on to Western Monk. Um, anything, Radir? Thank you very much. It's an honor to join you tonight. Thank you, sir. Um, so Western Monk, you're next up on stage. Radir, I'm going to go ahead and drop you down now. Uh, if you'll come and join us, Western Monk. Hey, guys. First of all, thank you for all your hard work and uh, your commitment to the community and these projects. So that must be said at all times. I mean, not all everyone uh, uses that time to work on a project who might or may not succeed. Uh, then my question is as follow. Um, so I don't completely understand about uh, some money that was found or not be found, but uh, combined with the money that is dedicated for the chain to be used, to be used for the chain uh, and also that you guys already have uh, an updated cosmos code does it mean that um, combined with the money you will have more time to work on this project and also that the roadmap might be speed up in some points yeah yeah that's a that's a good point and i think um so personally what i can say is that you know i <laughs> I am swamped, right, with everything that's going on. And so I am asking my work uh, if I can take a sabbatical and work on this. And, you know, we'll see what they say. I think uh, I think they've been positive. They've been viewing this positively. So I'm hoping in the near future, I'll be able to go pretty much full time for at least a year. Uh, that being said, um, definitely, I think when we have this grant again i'm sort of taking off tr hat putting on grants hat i think 
once we have this uh, grant program, what you can see is that you'll be paid by milestone, right? So it's like there's going to be a time frame. This is not an open window where you just have uh, you know, as much time as you want. It's essentially like, for example, for Terra Station, we want independence from TFL. You have two months to get it done. You have $50,000 and go, right? So you get maybe a little bit upfront. You hit the first milestone, the first month, you check in, whatever. By the end of the second month, if you don't complete it, then you don't get the money, right? So like, there's going to be much clearer deadlines, much more incentive. Uh, you know, you can actually pay developers not to do this on the side. I think absolutely we're going to see a, um, much, a much clearer idea and picture of work being done on the blockchain. Uh, now for second question, um, so I'm looking at uh, the Discord from uh, Terra Rebels, and there's a lot of uh, threads and everything, but sometimes it's really hard to find who is, um, uh, how can I say this, uh, who is joking, who, who is being serious. Um, like, is there some way when you have ideas of different stuff, like you can get it through a filter? And then people who actually know stuff, they can say, okay, this is usable, this is not usable, and this way it goes above, above, above to to you guys. So you are not bothered by, yeah, bullshit, <laughs> like some of the proposals are made. So you can only focus on the things that are really important and maybe have some potential use. I, mean, I got to say that Clan does a great job filtering <laughs> all, that, all that bullshit. That's a, that's a full-time job. Yeah, um, I was going to say exactly that, Matt. I don't want to be in your <laughs> shoes. <laughs> um, we, I, all I can say is that we try our absolute best to keep the more serious channels serious, um, like depth discussions, USTC revitalization, and validator discussions. Basically, anything in that Lunac portal category or the, you know, Luna Classic outpost, we definitely try to keep them more serious and on topic. But of course. With a server of 12,000 people and only, I think, eight now moderators, it is something that can get out of hand. So other than that, other than if you, if you have a question for the devs, I know a lot of devs do keep track of the dev discussion channel, and they do make their best attempt at answering the more serious questions and not win moon. So I would say, of course, just drop anything down in there. and. You know they'll do your best. They they will do their best to get back to you. Uh, other than that, I I really just don't know. I mean, it's a Discord server. <laughs> You're always gonna have the trolls. That's just something you have to learn to kind of navigate around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the last question. Um, so again, to to in the money that you have to develop the chain, uh, did you have now more developers who are ready to join you to to help you code? And if they are, how will we be filtering them out? Like who are just in for the money, or the ones who also want to join for the project itself? Yeah. So I mean, we have we have pretty good um, ties to different people. That you know, for example, we have ties to uh, osmosis, right? We have ties to, um, and this is you know, kudos to 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 Rex here because uh, we meet with Will Chen like every week or so. Who's got he's got a bunch of developers as well, and there there have been offers, right? Hey, like maybe we can try to figure out a way to help. But there's always there's never like follow through, right? Because um, because what can we offer them? We we just say come, please help us, right? But now I think there's clear like avenues of of projects and deadlines and financial incentive uh, to keep people accountable and to keep sort of on the timeline. And I think that really lends you know credence to some of the these offers, right? It's like, it's not, you're not just helping us, you're, you're actually, this is your job, right? So I think, I think uh, that, that does play a huge part. Yeah, it's a different way of thinking and, and see yeah. that 
Yeah. Project. I understand. Um, I, I, just one more question. Sorry. Um, so does it mean the Cosmos will be uh, responsible for that? You will be able to let's say swap Ethereum or different coins to a Luna Classic, or this is for something else? Sorry if I'm ignorant in this. Zoro, I mean, I think Zoro sort of mentioned the bridge. Yeah. Yeah, you need you need a a bridge so um people send Ethereum or Bitcoin to a address in the in the blockchain and the team or the corporation or the community that is behind the 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 bridge uh issues a a, net, a native Cosmos hub uh asset for that for that deposit and so you can move that inside the inside the cosmos um um ecosystem and that's basically how uh that works it's not feasible easy or possible to to accommodate uh native assets from say bitcoin inside another blockchain so that, that that's a way to do that but still, the stuff is is locked under a smart contract or or under a, a native wallet address. But yeah. But, but do we have something where we can swap our, our local coins? So let's say Ethereum, Bitcoin, whatever, to Luna Classic. Or there's nothing at the moment. Or mm, yeah. no, there is nothing. But when the IBC is open to Osmosis, uh, there is a lot of. Ethereum based native tokens that are floating around in Cosmos, like Axelar provides USDC, for example. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, you could go to Osmosis and swap your long C for USDC of Axelar and swap that in Axelar for the native USDC on, on Ethereum and then oh. move that to your uh, wallet or exchange or whatever you want to do with that well, but we need the upgrade uh, see we need we need to wait for the ibc to be open renewable or active okay understood okay thank you guys again for all your work and your time and education and uh keep up the good work guys and have a good day thank all right well, we thank you for joining us, uh, Western Monk. So I'm going to go ahead and drop you down. It looks like Milk89 rejoined us, so I'm going to invite you on stage real quick. Uh, we are getting a little bit over an hour now, guys, So and ladies. Please you know, try to keep it to one or two questions, whatever you feel is most important, so we can work through the last few speakers we uh, request to speak. Um, and then we can wrap this up so Ed can get back to his Sunday evening and everyone else on stage. All right, Milk89, you're on stage. Please go ahead and ask your question, sir. Hi, guys. Um, yeah, thank you for having me up. I had a few connection issues before, so I got disconnected. Um, yeah, a couple of things about um, the repegging or pegging of the AFT. So I know, Professor Kim, um, you mentioned um, at the top of this AMA that um, the current plan is to complete uh, the repegging by quarter one or quarter two of of next year i believe um so the first question is essentially um do you based on based on the current progress do you think that's feasible or do you anticipate that to be kind of pushed back for reasons x y or z and the second thing on that point is regarding the current proposals <coughs> excuse me i know um there's one from zarodar i uh, correct me if i'm wrong in terms of the timeline but i think when we're referring to the burning down of the supply to that 10 billion target. I think Zaradar in his proposal mentioned uh, something along the lines of it taking between three to five years with the method he's proposing. I just wanted to know if we're looking at the counter proposal of, or I understand it's a proposal that could also work in conjunction with Zaradar's proposal. Uh, the one I'm referring to is Alex's proposal. Um, um, if we look at his proposal in terms of burning down the supply, with with his methods do you anticipate that to take three to five years or would that be more of a kind of a shorter time frame um, cool. and lastly thank you very much for everything that you guys are doing we all appreciate it um please keep up the good work yeah thank you these are uh fantastic questions so i think 
the the short answer is it depends <laughs> but the long answer is right so if we if we ultimately if the community decides to go with a proposal like zardars the the repeg i guess when we look at the timeline and we say like repeg i guess it's more of like decision of, of which direction that we're going to go and implement that direction right because if ultimately we do sort of the sweat equity as zardar puts it that is a very long process it's a three to five year uh basically you know work out of the nine billion dollar debt that we can try to do with the different partition pools um so yeah i mean cute obviously three five years that's going to push the actual attempt to repeg uh that far out um that being said uh when we talk about alex's plan um <sighs> There, I, I, there, there are also some other plans out there, right? Where I know Vegas has sort of been exploring this, um, and they're all kind of very similar, right? Alex's plan, this Vegas plan, um, Faffy's plan. It's essentially take what we have now and peg it to that, right? So in in Alex's plan, the idea is take what we take what we have, uh, create a new coin called USTN, and then peg that to a dollar right and maybe i think the the exchange would be um from the 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 amount of ustc you have is is exactly sort of the amount of ustn you have except ustn is just pegged to the dollar right whereas i think faffy's plan or i, I haven't seen it or what vegas has been talking about is essentially peg ustc to the value that it is now uh and then enable the swap to that and then try to, I guess, you know, in that case, we'd have to build up on the capital controls, make sure you don't death spiral. Once you open up the swap, right, that's that's the, the tricky part. But um, so make sure we have those sort of uh, those controls in place before you open up a swap. Then essentially, you've either repegged to the value of UTC uh, where it is, or you've created a new coin and pegged that to a dollar immediately. Um, so in that in that aspect, then I could see 2023 being feasible as a as a repeg in in whatever form that looks like, and then a, a swap mechanism opened up. Um, so and then if there's like a hybrid, maybe maybe it is some sort of combination of um, you know, I don't know, maybe there is a USTN, maybe there's a, you know, some sort of uh, USTC uh, repeg or, or so something, uh, plus, you know, Zardar's uh, partition pools to, to sort of build up the, the uh, capitalization. I don't, I'm not sure what form it'll look like, but... Um, all that to say, it depends. <laughs> it depends on what the community ultimately decides. And I think that's going to be, you know, if you think we have drama now, right? <laughs> I mean, we're going to have some drama ahead. And then hopefully, you know, we all sort of work it out and uh, figure out a way forward. All right, Milk, if that's everything you have for us, unless you have a closing statement, then I'm going to go ahead and drop you down and bring our next speaker. Yeah, no, that's fine. Um, thanks, Professor Kim. Appreciate your time today. That 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 is on to my questions. Thank you very much. Cheers. All right. Well, thank you for giving us your time today, Milk. She uh, Rave, She Raz, you're next up. Um, I'm bringing you up to speak. So if you can come join us on stage, and ask your question. She, okay. Hello, guys. Thanks for having me. Hey. Hello. Hello, yeah, mate. We can hear you. All right. Uh, thanks, guys. Thanks for having me. Uh, I have a question. Uh, whatever proposal we later decide, whether it's Fafis or Zardars or whoever, it will probably need a lot of funding. And I simply made a proposal, a draft, to bring a NFT marketplace to Luna Classic. 
And I was wondering if we could start a new coin and then enable swapping. And the swapping will help bring utility and burning lunk and USDC, but also generate money for whatever proposal we will use for pegging. And I really would like to know what you guys think about that. Yeah, so I mean, I think that's very much in line or almost exactly what Zardar is talking about, right? To bring some sort of project or utility that has its own native token created on the, on the chain, enable swaps. In the beginning, it might be a one-way swap from Lunk to whatever the native coin is that will burn Lunk. Uh, and then we only sort of re-enable swapping back from, from that coin after you reach a certain market cap or something like that, right? So I think that's exactly sort of in line. And so uh, that, that plays very well into uh, Zardar's idea. But still, you, you need to, for open anything like uh, NTF, NTF marketplace or anything, anything that is level two, you really need to um, copy the concept and add something else so it provides more value for the people that wants to exchange their lung their lung for the the token in question so they they help in the burning in the repegging of UCC or whatever uh, so still I think in on the chain we have like uh, maybe two um, MTF marketplace but I'm not sure still well, I saw a tab, which I didn't saw before, <laughs> where it was possible to see something about NFT. But to be honest, it was a bit hidden and really out of sight. So I'm not sure how well it's used. And I think you're right, uh, dear Vegas, about that. And I was thinking it would be great if you guys designed the NFT with the purpose of generating some funds, maybe use this PR. Yeah, we we are in, a, in we are talking about uh, the memes that people make of Elor Kim, and maybe we can convert that yeah. into. Yeah. No, it's just it's just a joke. It's not really happening. But yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, there is many possibilities, I guess. Uh, still, um, we need to bring something that is unique to Lunk. Uh, compared to all the options in all the chains uh, that exist out there. Um, so the community is more than welcome to discuss that here on Discord, on Twitter, or anywhere they, they want to discuss that and build uh, and start building on, on, the, idea, on the, idea, the idea, I would say. Yeah. It's, just, uh, it's just like I was saying before uh, about the, the decks on, uh, on Telegram. Uh, if that goes, uh, if, 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 if it follows a plan, um, we'll have something that is unique on Telegram, that is a DEX on a social media thing, whatever. Uh, plus, we'll, we'll, <clears throat> we'll give some level of uh, privacy. Um, so that being said, is something that, that, uh, that will bring some new utility to the chain. So if we can find things like that, I will believe that will bring some, some volume to the chain. So, yeah. Okay, well, uh, that was my question, guys. Thanks for answering them. You're welcome. All right, well, thank you, Shiraz. Um, yeah, Shiraz, uh, I'm going to go ahead and drop you down and bring David up on stage uh, just to keep things in a, you know, a timely fashion and not use up too many, too many of these gentlemen's years time this evening. I'm going to bring up the remaining of the people that have currently requested to speak, and then we'll probably close it up. Go ahead, David. Hey, thank you, guys. Um, my, my question is about the the parity with Luna. Um, is is that does that happen when V twenty three uh comes out? And is that, that Zardar last week had had mentioned that should happen around Christmas time? Was you know just a ballpark guesstimate? Um, is that still kind of where you guys are? I know it's hard to to, to guess when you have you know, volunteers. Um, and then is the next thing, 
I, I was looking on the the roadmap. Are, is the IBC channels on the roadmap? Uh, the the IBC channels are not on the roadmap just because they are sort of uh, looped into the Cosmos Tendermint upgrade, um, and that that whole. They they all sort of go together, right? So with the let's see, what is this? The the Cosmos upgrade tendermint and then Cosmwasm. Um and then so that should that should be completed by Q4, but I, I would say that doesn't mean that we'll it'll be on the chain by Q4. I think we're we're probably looking at completing the work and then there's going to be some significant amount of testing that needs to happen this is a pretty uh pretty large breaking change upgrade so um yeah i mean depending on like auditing depending on you know if the cosm wasm stuff behaves properly so there's there's a lot of things that will probably you know, if something can go wrong, it probably will go wrong. So um, I would say, like, we could probably probably have the code ready, and then we'll have to do a lot of testing. And so, yeah, I mean, yeah. So Zardar saying Christmas time, we'll probably have the code ready. I don't know if we'll have it on the chain by then. Okay, so and so that all of that when that happens, then then we'll have parity with Luna. Yeah, exactly. Yep. Okay. All right. Thank you. Sure. All right, David. Thank you for your question, sir. I'm going to go ahead and drop you down. Rankum, you're next, and then Cajun Tucker, Trucker. Excuse me, Cajun Trucker. You'll be our final final question, sir. So if you can join us on stage real quick, Rankum, and go ahead and ask your question. Rank up. I invited you on stage. You should see a button to toggle so you can go ahead and accept the invitation. Going once. Going twice. All right, Cajun Trucker, we're going to go ahead and move on to you. I invited you up on stage. Um, go ahead and ask your question, please, sir. Yes, hello. Can you hear me? Yep. Yes, sir. Okay, so my idea is, and I know this is a long ways out, but last night I was looking at the Coinbase app, and they have that that tab in there for pay, where you can get it, you can get your paycheck direct deposited directly to a Visa card uh, on their account, and they have, you know, the pay options and the the Visa card option and all those options that they have. I was wondering if maybe later on down the line when the blockchain's ready for it, what do y'all think about implementing some features such as those? And thank you all for your time and your work on this project, and I appreciate it. Well, you want to jump in? Go ahead. Me? Okay. okay. Um, yeah, but yeah is that, that was already discussed before uh, regarding the... Um, uh, ramp off uh, thing that is like uh, Coinin already has a, a prototype that that um, it sounds alike, but I think it's different. Hmm? Yeah, yeah, I, I think it sounds. If I'm not mistaken, he's talking mm -hmm. about like how Crypto.com, which remember everyone is a centralized exchange, so a rather large or, or Coinbase. Yeah, or Coinbase. You know, they they were two of the largest centralized exchanges in the world. So they have a lot of capital to work with. Um, any type of credit card or debit card, to my understanding, would involve a you know some type of banking contract. That's, yeah, that was, we, that we basically really need to sell our, our souls for, to, to be some MasterCard and all that, and also have the capital. Exactly, exactly. Um, so. I don't see that outside of the realm of something that like a layer two protocol might try to mm -hmm. enact. Um, I've seen it happen for a couple of different chains where someone had the same idea and you can deposit 
you know, what other, whatever the native currency is for that chain onto the card. And then you can do direct deposits on the card. Um, if I'm not mistaken, it is a, it is a visa card. Uh, but then again, you know, that is a layer two protocol and someone that has a lot of financial backing more than likely. So I think that's really outside of the scope of what Terra Rebels is, is working on. And though you may see it on the chain, I don't think it would be something personally, I don't see it being built into, you know, the front end for Terra Station or whatever wallet system we utilize moving forward um, or the, co the core protocol itself. Uh, anything else, Cajun Trucker? No, that's it. You've answered my question. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you, Cajun Trucker. A good idea nonetheless. I mean, it is a good idea, but I do feel that it is somewhat outside the scope of Terra Rebels and would really count on a dedicated Layer 2 team that has a lot of backing. Um, so that was the remainder of the speakers that were on stage when I stated that we would you know, move forward and allow these gentlemen to get on with their night. So unless a member of the team has something they would like to say in closing, then I figure we can wrap it up. Thanks all. All yeah. right, thank you. Thank you, everyone. See ya. Ready? Well, thanks everybody for joining. Um, and you know, you should be able to reach out to most members that were on the panel in the Discord server if you had a question that you weren't able to ask. Other than that, I wish you all a good rest of your day and hope to see you next time.